A decades-long project in Anderson County gaining some traction finally tonight. The Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation making a commitment to clean up a former nuclear site. Yeah, we're talking about the old American Nuclear Corporation property in South Clinton. Six on your side's Wes Cooper spoke with one of the councilmen representing the area who's thrilled work will begin soon. Right now, this property looks lush, but soon crews will be digging into it to take samples of the soil. Some of the reports I've read, and I'm no engineer, but I recall uh, we have some cesium and some cobalt present, uh, which is, to me, pretty serious stuff. Cesium and cobalt are both radioactive materials, and large exposure to the waste can be harmful. Everything's within uh, the state guidelines. Uh, however, we have some other issues there. We, we don't know what's going on inside the old building. Uh, we don't know what may be in and around the facility. Uh, we, we just don't know that information. In 1998, Six News met with those living around the old American Nuclear Corporation site who claimed the contaminated materials spoiled their drinking water. Uh, American Nuclear was started in the early 1960s with the idea of trying to develop uh, some nuclear uh, waste, I'll call it, uh, some isotopes from the DOE facilities uh, to a local new startup company in, in our district, District 1 there, and uh, unfortunately it had some issues. During the company's brief existence, it was cited several times for not following state and federal rules for handling radioactive materials. TDEG took ownership of the American nuclear property in 1980. Now under Governor Lee's approval, $22 million is set aside to clean up areas like it statewide. He earmarked that those funds for TDEC to do those types of cleanup activities. And my understanding is uh, American Nuclear is uh, at the top of that list uh, at this moment. Anderson County Councilman Tracy Wandell believes the land should qualify as a Resource Conservation and Recovery Act site. Under that, the cleanup efforts could receive federal funding. In South Clinton, West Cooper, WAT6 on Northside.